In the 21st century architecture, very often we don't constrain ourselves with straight lines. But when you design something that looks like this, you have a small structural problem. You discretize your shape and divide it into a finite number of structural elements. So now you have your facade elements, you have structural members, you have structural joints or connections, and they're all different. That's the key. All elements in your structure are unique. That's the main property of a free form. If you take a free form grid shell roof, sometimes you might end up with tens of thousands of unique elements. So now you have a problem. In order to produce all those elements, you need exact specifications for everything. You need plans, you need every screw drawn, you need every welding drawn, you need every millimeter covered. So what do you do? One option is to hire an army of technical drawers. Uh, you have them do all the hard and boring work and uh, after a couple of months the architects will come to you and say you know, I don't like this form really, I would like this curved a little bit more. So what happens? Because you have a free form, all of your structural elements change. The solution, the form, will change a number of times during the process of design. And if it doesn't, then you're losing the freedom of design. So what would be a better solution? Automation. In engineering, every construction follows certain rules. If there are rules, you can automate the whole process. I'll give you an example. An architect comes and says, this is my building. He listen to the story about how the curvature of the building follows the urban flow. So you nod your head, and you don't tell them you know they saw a piece of paper on the ground and thought, hmm, that's kind of a nice shape. So you take the form, take the form, you take the surface and you discretize it with a couple of steps. You smoothen the grid with a couple of interesting tools that we use and you have your linear structure. So with one click you can export the entire structure to the static analysis program. The software enumerates all the members and joints and connects them together and prepares them automatically for static analysis. You can redesign and test statically your structure in a matter of minutes. While you're doing that, you think about the structural members and how you want them to look like. So you can develop different types of members and rules of their generation. You insert it in the code and when the members are exported, they all have the information about the cross-section, material and so on and so on. So when all the members have their 3D information, you can export them for static analysis or you can generate the 3D geometry. Not only members, you can go as deep as you want. Think about the different elements like glass holders, silicon fugues, screws, holes in the members. There is no reason uh, not to generate them automatically too. Just code it, everything can be automated. Notice an interesting thing, because you have a free form. All these members are not only different in length, they are also differently oriented in space. So the software calculates that orientation for you and orients them properly. It is redundant to mention that uh, without the proper orientation any static analysis would be wrong. So we come to the structural joints. They are tricky. You really have to think good about their properties and the rules of their creation before you code them. They have to look good, they have to be structurally acceptable, they have to be adaptable, they have to fit different types of members, they have to fit a wide range of angles, etc, etc. Every part of the structure, including screws, holes, welds, can be programmed. Whatever comes to your mind can be automatically generated. So now you have a structure with thousands of different glass elements, thousands of different structural members, thousands of different structural connections, each with holes, welds, bolts, bracings, and what you need is to produce all of them. So what do you do? Rinse and repeat. Think, do the rules, code, hit enter. The elements are automatically decomposed, ordered, dimensioned, prepared for the CNC machine. Well, there is a process of converting the 2D drawings into G-code that the robot uses to cut and mill. But, as you can guess, this can be automated too. 
You have to change the way you think about it now. Think through the rules called hit enter. And the beauty is, whenever something changes, you have the whole process automated, so you're able to generate the entire structure again in a matter of hours, sometimes minutes. This gives you so much more design freedom. You can change your form all along the way, up until one month before the production of elements, literally. You don't need fancy offices anymore. You don't need project managers that manage other project managers. You don't need months of redundant work. So a couple of people can take a project that's millions and millions of dollars worth and generate all the elements within a month or two or within a couple of weeks if we're talking about something smaller. Change the way you think. Think through the rules called hit enter.